5G is the fifth generation of the mobile network, a follow-up of the 4G technology. The 5G network is about 100 times faster than the current 4G network. According to technology experts, an application of 5G is to help regulators monitor traffic congestion, environmental pollution, and car parking. Thereby, managers can easily control the traffic in the city. Within the framework of the UK-Vietnam Connected Scientists Program, an international workshop entitled 5G Intelligent Information Technology Solutions for Monitoring and Controlling Traffic was held at the University of Transport and Communications in Hanoi. The workshop was sponsored by the Newton Foundation and was developed by the British Council with the aim of providing an overview of transport issues in Vietnam and around the world and the latest telecommunications information and technology solutions. Greetings from Chang Vietnam on VTC10 Netviet. 5G technology has been widely applied in many developed countries. So when is it possible to be applied in Vietnam? In today's show, we have a conversation with uh, Associate Professor of Communication Networks Huân from the Middlesex University on this topic. Thank you for joining our program today. 5G is a new technology in the world. So what are the benefits of 5G? Can you share more with us about this? Okay, uh, 5G brings about many benefits but I want to sum up five, a few key benefits here. And the first one is high speed. Wow, it's extreme compared to previous generation networks. 5G brings about like 100 times faster than the, the previous generation of 4G. To make it in perspective, uh, if we want to download a high definition movie, it takes less than one second in 5G. But in the 4G network, it takes about 10 minutes. And even in 3G, it takes 10 hours to do that. So it's much, much faster. The potential is huge. The second benefit is about the low latency. Uh, we talk about latency means the delay here. So we don't have the much delay in making a phone call and using the mobile phones. Uh, in the 4G networks, uh, the delay is around 40 to 50 milliseconds, but in 5G, it's less than one millisecond. The third benefit is about the greater capacity. Now, with the, with the much greater capacity, 5G can serve many services, many users, and many applications at once. We can do high-definition video streaming, at the same time, serving the connected vehicles and many other smart homes, smart cities, applications, they all connected to the internet and it is possible with 5G. And another benefit I want you to point out clearly that um, reliability. Because in 4G, we are not uh, be able to trust 4G completely to be able to use that for the self-driving car, but in 5G, it's very much possible. So what are the solutions in uh, applying the 5G in the uh, transportation system? 5G would be the key ingredient for smart transportation. Why? Because uh, 5G, as I said, with the greater capacity, low latency, at the same time being ultra-reliable. So it makes the self-driving car possible. It be has become reality now. And at the same time, uh, because uh, those benefit from 5G, we have now increased visibility and control over transportation system. Uh, we can collect a lot of data from the traffic flow, and that helps with the con uh, transportation control system to manage the situation, to reduce traffic jam, at the same time to try to avoid accident. So everything becomes smarter because the 5G can help connect all the vehicles, all the facility along the road together. And one key thing about the safety and reliability, and 5G allow that now, for example, in emergency case, everyone's still connected. Uh, and in some of the accident case, people can be rerouted to their different routes. So adjust to the new situation. 
And even that happened in the traffic, ex traffic jam as well. Participants in the traffic can always make and adjust the routes along, along the journey and reroute to the better one. Uh, another one is that traffic lights now become smarter. It can adjust the lights according to the traffic flow and reduce the waiting time. And actually, it, it sounds more, but actually it adds up to the huge good saving for the whole economy. In your opinion, is the trend toward the smart cities the reason why 5G will be applied widely in the new urban areas and especially in the transportation system? Absolutely. But first of all, what, what are smart cities? Smart cities are the ones that with the smart traffic management system. Uh, you got the very smart algorithm to help na the, for example, the car navigation system. It allows you to have choose the best route, to optimize the, the, based on the traffic data, to make sure that everyone travels in the best possible way, the faster way, the fastest way. It is clear that 5G is a key ingredient that uh, for connected vehicles to happen. The reality that big cities are experiencing today is busy and crowded roads. The number of private cars has increased which leads to traffic congestion, noise pollution, and increasingly severe air pollution. According to statistics, there are 35 serious traffic accidents in Vietnam every day. This is one of the consequences of the underdeveloped transport and infrastructure system. Every day we have to face problem of traffic congestion, right? In the big city, it's normal, right? In like in Hanoi, in Bangkok. So this traffic flow prediction can enhance our life in the traffic. So it's kind of, if you know this flow of traffic before, we can plan our life better. Nowadays, 5G telecommunication technology is being studied extensively all over the world. However, the potential for transport is still in early stages, especially in Vietnam and Southeast Asia, where serious traffic problems still exist. One of the reasons for this is the lack of advanced traffic monitoring and control system in Vietnam and Southeast Asia. Traffic Accident Prediction Solutions Intelligent Position Tracking System monitoring system and new solutions to reduce accidents, improve the driving conditions for traffic users, and reduce the impacts on the environment have been addressed by many experts. Five G wireless technologies are, are the future for all cities where there is a, a significant traffic problem. Through the, the use of sensors, environment, the monitoring of traffic, cars, we will be able to do better planning of, of the traffic situations. Uh, so the obvious advantage is we need the data that the, the 5G technologies will provide in order to, to be able to build a, if you like, a, a digital twin, a simulation of the environment in order to be able to, to plan the future of traffic. What are the difficulties in applying the 5G in the context of Vietnam? Wow, uh, Vietnam is a developing country. And like many other de developing countries, we have some difficulties. I would point out three things that I believe that would be the difficult for us. And uh, the first one is a poor infrastructure. Uh, Vietnam is a country with a long distance between the from the north to the south, almost 1,700 kilometers. And we don't have infrastructure along the road. We don't have the, the surface and fiber optic cables run along the, the motorways. And so in the rural area, we almost have very poor infrastructure, backbone infrastructure. 
And even in the, in the urban area, the infrastructure may not be sufficient for the 5G. And we're still trying to roll out 4G. So now, uh, taking on 5G, uh, we need to make some decisions. So planning, that's why planning comes into place. And the policy maker or the department need to sit together and do the correct planning, both short term and long term. And that needs to be done as soon as possible. And another difficulty is that we have limited resources. So how to spend resources wisely, that is the key as well. The application of 5G requires a huge initial investment and also the synchronous uh, infrastructure. So will it be appropriate for the developing countries like Vietnam? As I said, there are three key things, but one of the most important thing is that is uh, planning. We need to plan in the short term and how, do, how we adopt the technology. And shall we go for connected vehicle self-driving cars straight away? No. Maybe we don't need that. We need to tackle the maybe more immediate problems like traffic jam, congestion, and the pollution as well. And as I said, so planning is important. We need to divide it into different stages. The immediate one, maybe we try to use the benefit of 5G to help tackle that the problem we are facing daily now. And later on, okay, in the future, when we are ready with infrastructure, we can look for the more uh, uh, the advanced application like self-driving car. Can you share with us about the experience in applying the 5G in the UK's transport system as well as in other developed countries? There are huge investment in the UK. The government announced in 2016 that they would invest one billion pounds for the 5G project. They try to dominate the world in 5G. So far, they have spent half of that, and with many projects, big projects, with a huge consortium. So 5G is has been huge in the UK. A lot of activity happening, but around the world. I believe that 5G is happening already. In the USA, I think they plan to roll out 5G by the end of 2018, which is almost now, right? And I think Verizon and AT&T are the first one to try to roll out 5G in some of the big cities in Las Vegas, California, Washington, I believe. What is your opinion about the trend of applying 5G in developing countries like Vietnam? 5G will make smart transportation happen. It facilitates uh, the enabling technology. 5G allows the Internet of Things because it allows the, with the huge capacity, with the low latency, with the reliability, it allows all, all the devices to be connected together. And that's the key thing in transportation as well. We should be able to have all cars to be able to talk to each other, to be able to relay information to each other. And the car should be able to relay information to the, all the roadside unit infrastructure. In that way, everything is connected. Everything is controlled. We got more visibility. We can control better in transport, transportation system. And more control, more visibility allow us to have smarter solution in transportation. So definitely that is happening very quickly. And that's why people, all the big companies around the world, BMW and even Google, they are trying with the robot Uber or robot car. And they are testing that with a, at a different successful level. Once again, thank you for joining us and for your meaningful sharings today. And that's all we have for this episode of Shang Vietnam today. For comment and feedback, don't hesitate to write to us at shangvietnam at netvietv.net. Thank you for watching and uh, good luck for now.